Somebody answer me. Why don't you answer me? Now just let me know. Let me know. If you love me. Oh. Hello guys. Welcome to another uni room tour. We're gonna start in the hallway. I only knew this existed like yesterday. But like this is where like you have stuff in there. Like your Hoover, toilet papers and stuff. I mean you can have a little mini den in there as well. And these extra chairs I don't know. The good thing about third year halls is downstairs you have an extra toilet. So you have a little mini toilet downstairs. Um, so if you're having a party in the kitchen. There's a toilet for your friends, so they don't have to go in your room. So in here is the kitchen. Doors are loud. It's a lot bigger. In furniture, you get a massive kitchen. You also get two sinks. Obviously, there's a bit of you know washing that needs to be done in there, but it's a student course. You get a washing machine, and then over here you get a drying rack. Um, you get a big TV. And a seating area for your parties and that. Extra chairs over there. Um, extra space here for the spaces. And then over here we have like, we have three fridges. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really keep much stuff downstairs. I think these are fridges. One, two. Yeah, so we have three fridges and three freezers. And then you have your storage space over here, like in the other video. Um, Pretty much the same size. like chancellors um, so a lot of you would have probably been in chancellors first year or second year these rooms are pretty much similar to chancellors um, the only difference I'd say is in the bathroom you have one of these um, I think you have one of these in founders as well so it's just a door for your shower but it's literally the same toilet uh, space ish like the same sink same mirror and then obviously over here Like you have your bedding area, which is just like Chancellor's. Like this TV area, I think is still like Chancellor's. You have one of these. Um, but it's all the same, I think, as Chancellor's. Same space and stuff. Then I, I put my shoes on here, because it gives you a bit more space. You have space underneath your bed. And then obviously in here, you have like where you put your clothes and stuff. I put my like food here because I don't really want all my food downstairs, especially like if I'm gaming or something. I could just get snackier. My fridge, I think the fridge is a bit different to Chancellor's. Um, but I haven't really not got nothing in there except for like drink. And then obviously your clothes and the space up here. You have obviously cupboards underneath and then your bin under there. And here's your gas. But yeah, these are just the the rooms, pretty much similar to Chancellor's, it's third years. Is it worth going into halls in third years? I think it is, personally, because I feel like university is better. Like if, just say you, you, you know, you don't want to stay here anymore, you want to move somewhere else, you've got more chance of doing that for university accommodation than living with private landlords. Also, you know, it's like 125, I think it's the same as first year accommodation as well. And you get a massive kitchen, you can move in with all your friends. So if you want to move in third year with all your friends, you can all get a place together, which is also good. Um, so I think it's worth it. You have better internet as well, because a lot of private landlords do not have good internet. Um, but that's the room tour, guys. If you like the video, give it a like. Make sure you subscribe and leave you know, what you want to see next in the comments.